Tell us about the decision to put buses around the White House. I was in the Justice Department crisis group when we were trying to think through how do we protect the White House. And I had started working on how to respond to major demonstrations right with the counter inaugural in 1969. And they had sort of developed a theory about how to do it, is that you present the least amount of potential provocation for violence to those who are coming to demonstrate. But you keep in reserve all of the potential to respond to it if an attack occurs or if they get through your line. And I remember a meeting in the Justice Department uh, presided over by Richard Kleindienst, uh, the Deputy Attorney General and others who had different ways of approaching demonstrations. And I remembered the conversation, it wasn't lighthearted necessarily, but um, uh, there was a, a, trying to think of his name, uh, Bill McCaffrey, who was a Lieutenant General at the time, who I think was the commanding officer of the military district around Washington, D.C. And he and I were talking with each other, and I think I said, well, you know, in the old westerns, uh, John Wayne just used to circle the wagons. And that was enough to be able to protect people inside the wagon train. And that led off that, well, you know, we've used buses before at different places in the city when there have been demonstrations. And it just, one thing led to another and said, well, why don't we consider just basically leasing buses from the metropolitan districts, the utilities that, that run these bus companies and circle the wagons. And um, we did. And it, I think it turned out to be a good, good decision. Um, I, I remember saying in the meeting, look, what's the worst that they can do? They can, they can punch uh, holes in the tires, they can break the windows, and they can write graffiti on the buses, but they're not gonna get to the fence. And we can put a cordon of people there, and if they try to come over, we can squirt them with some tear gas, and they'll slide back down the other side. Um, and to me, it's, a different, it's different looking at a bus than it is looking at a cordon of SWAT-clad uh, mm -hmm. policemen, which to me invites a confrontation. And I was a firm believer then, and I still am to this day, that uh, you have to provide the protection but you do it in a way that is the least provocative and likely to incent an attack.